Anteaters are able to eat ants thanks to their very long and sticky what? Is it A, B, or C? Kamariana, thank you so much for being here. Too sane for you. Thank you so much for the love. Which one is it? And the time is up. The correct answer is... Yes, it is B, their long and sticky tongue. Congratulations to 89 of you guys for selecting the correct answer. I am so proud of all of you guys. You guys are already killing it. Now let's move right along to question number two. <laughs> what is a high temperature oven for drying bricks and ceramics called B or C? Which one? Time is up. The correct answer is A. A kill. Congratulations to 77 of you guys for selecting the correct answer. Now, listen here. Before the kill was even a basically invented, pots were actually dried in large pits of fire. I wonder who was the first person to be like, you know what? We need to dry these these things but we need a lot of fire. I just want to know who that person was because they were clearly pretty genius. Let's move on to question number three. Now considered to be obsolete, this appliance played VHS tapes. Is it A, B, or C? Is it a Betamax? Is it a VCR? Or is it a Vegomatic? <laughs> Rob Rice said, what is VHS tape? I don't know. That's a great question. And the correct answer is... Ding, 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 ding. It is B, A, B, C, R. Congratulations to 79 of you guys. Now listen to this fun fact. When it was first introduced, Hollywood Studios thought that the VCR would put them completely out of work. They were wrong. Let's move on to our next question. What is the name of the University of Arkansas's football team? Is it A, B, or C? Or I like to say Arkansas. <laughs> Hurry up, y'all. Is it A, is it B, or is it C? And time is a whoop. Yeah, baby. The correct answer is B, the Razorbacks. Congratulations to 65 of you guys for picking the right answer. So proud, so proud of all of you guys. Now, the coach of LSU's team said Alabama played like a wild band of Razorback hogs. I didn't even know that was such a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's move on. Here's question number who? Yeah, baby. Number five. What is the birth zone for the month of July? Is it A, B, or C? Is it ruby, amethyst, or sapphire? Hurry up. And time is up, you guys. Time is up, time is up. The correct answer is, ooh, Roberta, you are on it. Yes, the correct answer is A, A, ruby. Congratulations to 42 of you guys for selecting the correct answer. Oh my God, please listen to this. So rubies and emeralds are also the birthstone for people born on Tuesdays. So wait, I'm so confused though. Like, you know, like your birthday changes like every year, like the day. So how, I don't know, I'm so confused. Let's move, oh, <laughs> let's move on to question number six. <laughs> Which of these is not a squib? Is it A, B, or C? I didn't know. Thank you, Bri. <laughs> I really didn't know. All right, time is up, you guys. The correct answer is... Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -bum -ba. It is C, baby quail. Congratulations to 26 of you guys for selecting the right answer. And so Roberta said, when they're born, Ruba, I know now. <laughs> I tried. I really did. Let's move on to our 
Let's go. Uh huh. Let's get it. Uh, let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Congratulations to everyone who made it to question number six. Guess what? You guys just won two keys. Now it is time for all of you guys to get ready for our bonus round. All right. Now listen here. If you guys got out during round one and you want to keep playing, or if you guys won round one and just want to keep playing, the party rocking. All you have to do is smack down some keys to join us for our bonus round. Answer the next six questions right to win eight more keys. Here we go. Bonus question number one. Which of these U.S. cities is named after a local food business? Is it A, B, or C? Is it McDonald, Ohio? Is it Domino, Texas? Or is it a Hershey, B, A? Which one? And the time is up. The correct answer is C, Hershey, PA, AKA uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh. Now listen to this fun fact. Hershey, Pennsylvania is an unincorporated town named after the Hershey's Chocolate Company. The more you know, according to me and the joy Ron. Same, but let's move on to bonus question number two. Mentioned in the Bible, a Rium is described as being a giant blank. Is it A, is it B, or is it C? Which one? And time is up, you guys. Time is up. The correct answer is, look at that. It is a unicorn. I love unicorns. It's so much fun. I stepped in a lot of unicorn poop on Halloween. It was kind of fun. I would do it again. I really would. Congratulations to 12 of you guys for selecting the correct answer. <laughs> One of our producers, Patty, is like, uh, excuse me, what is really going on in the world? Let's move on to bonus question number three. We're almost there, you guys. Someone who loves archery is known as a blank. Is it A, B, or C? Once again, someone who loves archery is known as a what? Uh-uh-uh, no cheating. <laughs> and it's time is up. The correct answer is... Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum, ba. It is C. And, oh, guess what? Only 10 of, 10 of you guys got it right? That's disgusting. How dare you? Really? Just 10? I wouldn't have been that 10, but I'm just saying. Only 10? <laughs> Let's move on to bonus question number four. I didn't think that was funny, Bri. I <laughs> this acronym was George Jetson's work computer. Is it A, is it B, or is it C? Is it Rosie, is it Rudy, or is it Zorak? Hi, Tony, thank you for being here. Roberta83, you are a real one. I thank you so much for all of the love, for real. And the charm is up. You like that? Mmm. The correct answer is B. Rudy. Congratulations to 10 of you guys. To be honest, I've never seen an episode of the Jetsons. I know what they look like because I've just like seen it around, but I've never watched an episode ever. Let's move on to question number five. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. All righty. He was originally designed to be colored orange is it the hulk oscar the grouch or frankenstein's monster i always thought frankenstein was frankenstein that's always thought his i thought the monster was frankenstein and the correct answer is oscar the grouch congratulations to four of you guys for selecting the correct answer now please ins pl excuse me i can speak english Listen to this fun fact. The Hulk was actually meant to be gray, but the colorist accidentally turned him green. Everything happens for a reason. Let's move on to question number six. Key question. This spooky gadget is nicknamed a jack-in-the-box. Is it A, B, or C? 
Tony and Tiffany, you guys are killing it. Roberta said, so much love for you, Ruba. Same V day, April 9th. Oh my gosh. We're like twinsies. I love it. Aries, the best. Just, just had to throw that in there. Congratulations to two of you guys for selecting the correct answer, which is a mannequin. Ooh, la la. Let's move on to our next question. Let's go. And guess what? We're done. Ah! Oh my God, that was fun. We have a total of 26 winners. I honestly thought we had more bonus questions. I really did, but guess what? Joke was on me. You already know the drill. Hit me up in the comment section with just your nickname and I'll do my best to shout out as many of you guys as possible. If I don't see any names in the comment section, guess what? I'm not shouting you out. Just being a little saucy on this good Saturday. Ooh, we got Tiffany and Anna and Maluma. That is all we got. All right, you guys, the jig is up for me. If you had as much fun as I did or even more fun, please be sure to use your username as your referral code and invite some of your friends to come join Joyride. Until next time, I'm Rufus World. Doses.